Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna try and do like a fun video, like a kind of vlog style video, which is basically just going to be me taking pictures of my bunnies because I'm taking fall pictures. But a lot of people always ask, how do you get such good pictures? And you make it look so easy and stuff like that. So I just want to kind of do like, I guess it's a behind the scenes kind of video. So, I will try trying to film that and show you guys what happens, what goes on, all the struggle, struggle it takes to get this, uncooperative rabbits, all that fun stuff. So let's go get started. So the first thing that I do when taking pictures is decide where I want to take them. And that kind of like depends on what the weather's like. So if it's really windy, I don't want to be right up like and the wind where it's messing with any props, the rabbit's hair, my hair, and stuff. Basically, whenever I go out to take pictures and it's not windy, it like automatically becomes really windy and it makes me really mad. So I try to avoid it ahead of time. So anyways, first thing I do is I have all my props right here because I've already taken, taken some fall pictures, which is just this orange mat and these decorative leaves. It says, so, the barn is two parts, and this part goes out to the horse stable, which, like, we don't really use it often. So, I'm going to, like, try and take them out here, because shady spot, and we're up against this background, which is woods and field. So, it's, like, perfect, because it's going to be blurred out in the background, but still there, be there. And also, I like using this gate as a background, too, when it's blurred out, and you can see, like, the leaves through the edges, I mean the middle of these things that's really cool sometimes and also side note I just almost cracked my brand new phone so that's why I don't vlog and try and carry stuff and open doors it's been raining a lot and like it's a total mess out here just like you but we finally got a non rainy day today it rained this morning a little bit but like not too bad so in general, usually I would drag this thing out and like pull it out so it's like over there and I can get it facing the woods. But with the ground how it is, I don't see that going very well. And I don't want to sit on the ground either. So I'm going to take our melting block and use it to set my rabbits on, which I will show you in a minute. So I've got everything set up. Dang. And now I'm just going to take pictures. So what I did was I think I can put the rabbit on the mounting block. And then I have a bucket to sit on because the ground is disgusting. And I don't want to get all wet and muddy. So let's get started. So one of the hardest things is finding a good spot. So I might move her around some. Um, I didn't really test this spot. Like I just set her there. And I'm like we'll just see how this goes. We'll see how well she cooperates. She's kind of been in like moody lately, so that'll be interesting. But let's actually get started now. She's really not happy. I'm pretty sure when I tell my rabbits to sit and look nice, their thought process goes something like, no. But like, I take them out the day before and they look beautiful. That is exactly what I meant about the wind. Notice how it suddenly just picked up when she was just starting to sit still? Yep. I think I'm done with her. I got a good front picture, so that's enough. So, I'm going to try and take pictures of this little guy next. This is a blueberry and, well, blueberry pancake. And he's a junior buck that had splayed legs real bad when he was little but we just kept him and like gave him litter mates so we couldn't hog all the food and he turned out okay 
he's a little chunk. His head's like in the middle of popping. He's going through ugly, but I really love his body. I haven't got any pictures of him yet, so we're gonna try. Literally, there's not a science to it. It's just like having a decent camera and a good setup, which like you can see mine. But you don't see that in the picture. Like it all looks fine. You don't see the whole mishmash of stuff you put together to make the picture. And it's just like choosing area and stuff. And then having an actual camera help because when you zoom in on it a little bit, or depending on like what level of camera you have, mine's like okay, but better than a phone not a like super high quality camera but I can make it take pictures that can look super high quality by knowing how to use it and that's just um, what I do is I zoom in a little bit and it focuses the rabbit more and blurs out the background and that turns out really really well for me have a nice day you don't want it to be too bright to where the rabbits like overexposed and then like it's all bright in the background you can't see anything but you don't want it to be super tar dark you kind of want an even day like, it's actually kind of bright for it. It's okay, but you can see, like, I'm in the shade. And yeah, I still haven't picked that up. <laughs> you can see I'm kind of in the shade. So that, like, that's why I'm raising it and I'm choosing this place. Um, so guys, I think that's going to be all. Um, the wind started to pick up, and that just makes taking pictures a lot harder. Because the rabbit's fur blows and looks weird, and then... Sometimes the wind scares them and they don't want to pose like normal. It looks like a freaking cave even the wind blows like that. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And um, the rabbits really aren't cooperating today. I don't know what their problem is because I just took these rabbits out literally yesterday and they posed up all beautifully. Um, I also don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to do those two guys and be done with it and maybe like go ride my horse or something because that'd be fun. I will show the good pictures I got at the end of this video. Um, I get a few that will be good. At least front shots are easy. They're they can look nice in front shots, no matter what, pretty much. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of like hanging out with me and my rabbits, watching me take pictures of them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down and feel free to comment any other questions rabbit related photo related I'll try and answer them the best I can any comments you have and if you have any other video ideas or videos you would like to see I'll comment them too because I will definitely consider making them and so anyways again thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video Dang it. So anyways, whoa, there's a freaking bug. <laughs> a bee. So that's basically like how I do it. Like you can see me, I was standing. That scared the crap out of me.